Hi, I'm Eric Trinidad, and I'm here at CERN, the famous European Nuclear Research Center, outside of Geneva, on the border of France and Switzerland. CERN has been known around the world for many breakthroughs in physics and technology. But today we're here to answer one of the greatest mysteries of science. Can a really powerful electromagnet cut through a piece of cheese? Of course, an experiment like this isn't normal for the researchers at CERN. It's home to several Nobel Prize winners in physics, after all. And they're mostly concerned not with matters of cheese, but with matters of matter, as they try to unravel the mysteries of the universe through scientific method. Most of the research at CERN is done by studying data produced by the LHC, short for Large Hadron Collider, a huge particle accelerator that can simulate the Big Bang Theory. These Big Bang simulations happen when subatomic particles are accelerated to high speeds around a circular underground track over 16 miles long before colliding them with each other. In order to bend the particle stream through the LHC, you can't just go down there and bend it with your hands. It's physically impossible and you die from all the radiation. In order to bend a particle stream, you need a series of superconducting magnets. Without magnets, the particle stream would simply go into a straight line. To curve it so that it can travel around the circular track, you need a touch of magnetism. Actually, you need much more than a mere touch, because it requires a strong magnetic field of 8 Tesla to strengthen one side of the stream, while reducing the strength on the other, in order to bend it. Magnets in the LHC continually bend the stream so that it curves into a ring shape, thus allowing the particles to go round and around and faster before they bang into each other. We can apply this principle of bending by magnetism with an aluminum bar. But not just any aluminum bar, I'm talking about one with a Swiss army knife attached to the end. So we can attempt to cut a piece of cheese as the bar bends. So you know, this is a, so, uh, like I said, an old resistive magnet, which is more 30 or 40 years old. You know? So much less powerful than the magnets we have seen in, uh, in SM18. Basically the field we will have for the uh, cutting machine, cheese cutting machine, the field will be eight times slower than the field we achieve in the LHC magnets. For this experiment, we'll use a magnetic field of one Tesla. Let's see if that's strong enough to cut through a soft, spreadable cheese, like the kind with a laughing cow on it. Next, let's step it up with a semi-hard cheese, Comte, from France. We should have brought bread. And finally, let's try a really hard cheese, Parmesan, using the same magnetic field of one Tesla. So there you have it. The next time you think somebody cut the cheese, you can go ahead and blame a big magnet. Just don't go expecting to win a Nobel Prize or anything. <laughs>